Okay, here we are. Let's go. Um, Caden Live. I believe it's the newest version. 21.04.2. It was a few days ago. Um, Linux Mint 19.3 is my operating system. It, I load it using Flatpak, which is through Software Manager, and as soon as it's approved update, I get it. So that's totally cool. I've used a transform in here on these. Uh, in fact, let me let me remove it, and I'll show you what I did. I got uh, I, I built a regular title clip and I animated it to come from the bottom right to the top left and that's cool and that's a little wipe I used to go to the next one so we'll stop that and we're gonna go back here and I'm gonna add a transform to a title clip and you can see when I imported it into the title clip, it knows where it's at. It's keyframeable. So what I want to do is I want to add a keyframe to lock it in that 100% everything the same as we see it. And then as I move it over, I'm going to make it, I'm going to add another title clip. I'm going to say make it one and if I click outside that clip and I go home we don't see the red markers that help us center all the good stuff with transform play with it you'll see okay so here's what we just did we have a title clip that's animated gets in and it locks and then we're going to fade it out with the transform and then we used uh, a wipe into this video now if we put the transform in there and there's two ways to do this Okay, I just dragged it down there, and if I click in it, you see in the stack that controls the effect. Let's say I, I remove it. Okay, it's gone. The other thing I found is if you've highlighted a clip and you double click, it just put it in there. I can prove that by moving this little timeline in the effect, and you say, hey, yeah, he's in the clip. Okay, so we just made something smaller. Now this time we're going to add an effect, and it's 100, the same. We're going to go over a little, and we're going to add another effect. But this time the size is going to be 200, twice as big. And from 200... We'll keep that for a bit. See, if I move it here on my timeline down below, you see it moving up here. They're tied together. Pretty nice. Okay, so I uh, add one. That locked in. That's 200 between this one and this one. It's 200. So I'll go to the end and say, I want it to end up where it started. So we'll do it right here. Add a keyframe. Back to 100. So let's go back and start all over. Now I've used, uh, I made a title. I used the transform to make it shrink out of sight into the clouds. And I used a wipe between these, and I got a transform. I'm just, have, I didn't make it now, it's zooming in. Hold it, and now it's gonna slowly go back. 
transform. Okay, now within the transform, there's a few other little things you can do, and it's pretty crazy. So I'm in here, and I'm gonna click in this. Let's get it right, right on the keyframes where you make the changes. I want to rotate that thing 360. Check this out. It's going to zoom and rotate. Boom. Okay, this is just for demonstration purposes. To me, that makes uh, no continuity, but you know, if you had something else going, it might work. So the transform is really powerful. I really like it a lot. I use it, I could use it on my logo if I wanted to, or I could use it on my picture. Well, in fact, I'll show you. We'll go back to just the JPEG. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and remove this. Remove the logo. They're still up here, but here's this JPEG. And uh, I'll move the wipe over here for temporarily. So I'm in the JPEG. Double click, transform, and it went into there. And I say, you know, I, I really want to look more at the cloud. Oh, that's too big. Oh man, I don't like that. 200. Click down below it. There we go. Now, as long as I don't move it too far out, I can do that. So, the other thing I could do is do a uh, What I just did is reversed it 180 and I zoomed in 200 and it's just a static picture but the transform anything that will go in the timeline uh, I haven't tried uh, subtitles but anything that you can get in I might try a subtitle. I don't know. I haven't messed with it. Subtitles working pretty good. They're gonna do the speak to text thing. I haven't loaded that stuff. I was gonna try that, but so that's just a quick. Uh, now say I did. Oh, I did all this stuff, and I go, man, that sucks, man. Let's pull that out. Boom, it's out. So we're back to where we were. Move the white back over here. And uh, we got our intro, we got our wipe, and now we're back with the flamingos. So um, the other thing I like about this, I'll put it on number three. You can edit this thing. When it's in the timeline. You go up here, right click it, edit, and uh, once you put the animation in, the edit the start, and let's make it 100. And let's put it back here. So we just got rid of that basically, that's all we did. We say we're gonna that but we're not so the other thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, put the transform in there boom and we're going to get over here right about here I'm going to add a keyframe 100% 
and I'm going to go over here and uh, I'm going to add a keyframe and I'm going to change the size one and I'm also going to do a 180 and I'm going to run it back to the start hit home and I want to shorten this and let's check this out this is just using transform and a wipe and we're going here so uh, if I wanted to uh, I could drag it down here and you notice it's still there let me delete it or I could click on oh I'd already done stuff to it that's right so let's double click it and this timeline thing is cool it's tied right to this on the timeline key frameable excellent add made it 100 I can either move it over here, up here or down below and I say uh, let's put it close Say add and make it 200 so it jumps up pretty quick. We go back and then we'll go to the very end. Say add and we're gonna make it 50%. Um, and we'll go over here and we'll say. Uh, the very end add a keyframe make it one and we'll make this 180 click did all that go back here home uh, let's pull in the logo here it right up to this okay let's see what we got and what I'm going to do is uh, double click this and play it so you can see it real time I'm using OBS and I don't want to redo it on OBS I'm just going to okay so we're doing this wow Do our wipe and let's see how this turns out. We zoom in, slowly zoom out. Boom. All done. That's transform. Very powerful. I'm going to shut this down and uh, Subscribe if you like, and I never push that, but I think I'm supposed to start doing that. Talk to you all later. Bye.